All right, I didn't mean to do this, but let's go ahead and skin the legendary Olas Cougar that we showed the bow. Which was part of the goal, after all. And it's Hunter 5. Thank you, random stranger, mister. You're welcome. I got what I want, you get what you want, which is your life. What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't need that help. Go away. Use a bait lure to kill a predator to herbivore consecutively? Hmm. Maybe later. Alright guys, I'll actually meet you back with the next thing we're gonna do. One moment. I don't remember if we ever actually been out to Aurora Basin. But there is one reason why we're here. And one reason only. And you guessed it. The indicator gave it away. We are here for the legendary fish. What are we fishing? Good question, we're gonna find out. Let's get rid of that icon. This is the legendary rock bass? Should be a fun time. I need bait. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need bait. Taking a bait. Cause we are at a lake, right? Alright. Game, give me some good vlog, let's make it quick. There is a lot of fish here, so hopefully one of them will work. Alright, fishy, fishy, fishy. You're among the last four we need to do. I think it's four. Is it four? Largemouth! There's four left. I didn't mean to do that. Dang it, Marston. Um, and we'll probably... Two of them, I don't know how I haven't even tried yet. Or at least got the uh, notification I'm in near them. Because I've been in the areas, obviously. Oh, freak. That has to be a new record of quickest fish ever caught. Rock bass? Holy cow, that was easy. I don't think we've had an easier time catching a legendary fish. Alright. I will meet you guys at a fret feature presentation. Alright, we haven't done a proper story mission in quite some time, so let's go ahead and do one. What's up, guys? Ah, uh, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two-dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. <laughs> it's a dump. The house has got to go. Well, get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will put mm -hmm. clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's 
get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Are we really destroying the house right now? Wow. trouble and now now we head into town buy ourselves a house right out of a book same as if it were a bicycle where in town uh, there's a fellow by the train store cakes hardwood and timber okay you keep working here but if i don't go with you who's gonna just tell you need that a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping charles make him work whip him if you have to okay i mean that was what? Excuse me? Well, who's ready for more challenges, guys? Woo! I'm not- no, that doesn't count. It kind of sucks, it? That really was a freaking full mission? 1% of story. Okay, I'm fine with that. Oh, yeah, 86%. I can with that. Alright, so I guess we'll go buy a real house now? Ow. We got you now, you piece of shit! I no, you don't. You skill. Get him. We're doing this again, guys. I'm gonna use my pistol. I don't remember which pistol's which. Stupid idiots. I don't know why people want to fight. I guess it's the head sc scanners, I guess, are so mad at me. For nothing I did. Oh well. Let's go see about being a new ho ho house though. It's not that none of them had, uh, had uh, the things on their head, the hats. Alright AC. Oh, you can't over the fence. That sucks. You're just walking casually. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. I'm <laughs> joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. Factory-built house. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No. 
But hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. So wait, we're going to go kill people over to the build a house. That doesn't make sense. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not <laughs> getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns behind, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No, wait, look, trust me on this, you are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right, I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Why are we going to the post? You were gonna say. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. <laughs> Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot. Just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Mill. Should be that hard, okay? I know a region. Please tell me he's, he's a redhead. Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Mills? Okay. <laughs> so Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. What just happened? <sighs> okay. 
I'm so confused. All right, then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men. Oh, he spoke too soon. My gun's bigger than yours. All right. You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Got the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. All right. Just stay here. Guard the wagons. Charles, come on. Really? Easy. Oh, where did that guy's head go? Throwing knife? Oh, that was a twofer. I should have used shotguns a long time ago. These things are a lot of fun. Nice try. That was an easy kill on me, too. Like Indians more than a gang. Oh my god. They don't think people are killed. <laughs> if they had a hat, it would have made things easier. I need to get a long barrel sidearm too while I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna probably do that in between the next episode because I feel like we're not done with these skinners. Head skinners, that they're called scout skinners. Oh, I thought our wagon okay, because I was like, that looks empty. 
Wait. Oh, that's the broken way. Alright. Let's get out of here. I lead the way. Let's go. Dang it. Uncle's alive. Oh my god, so many dead bodies. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. Rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, uh, Uncle! I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. You pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John. I love you. Don't you forget that. The dog disappeared. Guys, next one, Red Ocean 2. Uncle has a mission for us. Not really interested in that. A neutral is strong. Hmm. We'll figure something else out. I'll see you then.